Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another video, and today we've got the uh, set of repeats. Uh, it's a Fast and Furious set. Probably not too exciting for most people. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. We do have two really cool cars in this that are new. I believe they're new uh, to the series, uh, and then I think we got three repeats as far as I'm aware. Uh, I could be wrong because I don't really follow the set all that much, you know, or hardly at all. Um, but I do when there's a new casting, like, or a new one added, like this Porsche or, uh, this Mercedes Benz 500 SEL, I get excited about those. I ended up picking up this full set because my buddy Jay had one and he sold it to me for retail. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to get the whole set. Why not? Even though some of these are going to be duplicate cars that I already have in my collection. Um, we're going to start with the duplicates and then we're going to finish it off with the uh, the one the newer ones. So this one has definitely been released at least once before. This is the Custom Acura Integra Sedan GSR. And I believe it was actually just like put out in the last set of cars. I And again, I could be wrong and I did absolutely zero research uh, before doing this video. So you're going to have to forgive me for that. We're just going to take a quick look at the cars and that's, that's what we're going to do. Um, so there's that custom Acura Integra uh, sedan from the fast and the furious. And yes, uh, I've mentioned it a million times in this channel. Anytime I talk about fast and the furious cars, I've never seen the movies. Okay. I apologize about that as well. Or I'm not, I guess, sorry, not sorry. Um, to me they they always seem to be, and I don't mean to alienate anybody that loves the movies. I just thought that, you know, they were always looking pretty cheesy and I just never, and I don't watch a lot of movies these days anyway. Um, so there is that as well. I've just never seen one. I know there's people that are diehard fans of it. And I'm not going to knock you for liking what you like. I do not care. I just, uh, I get the stuff for the cars. Um, this Integra looks pretty good. It's got that cheese ball livery on the side that I guess likely is movie accurate. I don't know. Again, I don't watch the movies. But, um. And I do think, I mean, as kind of cheesy as that little side graphic is on the car, it does look pretty decent. It doesn't look bad. Uh, so, of course, these are Hot Wheels premium cars. You are going to get a metal body. You're going to get a metal base. Um, you are going to get rubber tires, real rider tires, and full deco. And the deco is the classic um, Hot Wheels premium style deco which is like some sort of printing process, not tampo, but printing process that is clear coated over. And sometimes it looks better than others, uh, but you do get that dot matrix effect. And yes, I sound like a broken record mentioning it all the freaking time. And you know, if you're sick of hearing it, I'm sorry. Um, but it is there, and I it, whatever I like mentioning the tampo processes or whatever processes that they use to decorate the cars. Uh, for example, when we talk about this, this is the gold label, right? Premium. Uh, when we talk about the silver label series, and when I do a video on those, we talk about the tampo processes on those because they're different. They don't do the same thing. They're still like a full deco, but they're tampo passes. And now, the one thing I'm sure that limits is the amount of colors that you can put in. Um, so these are technically full color, right? Full color, full deco. And this is the way that they do those is with this process. So there's nothing perfect, right? Everything has a bit of a trade-off. I just prefer the silver label um, ones because they're tampoed and they're typically like sharper. They look like a screen printed graphic instead of whatever this, whatever this process is. So, all right, that's me. That's my two cents. We'll stop talking about that. But anyway, this car looks uh, pretty cool, but we, we have had it already. And I, and I know I've got this one somewhere in my collection. I already have it. Um, but this is, a, this is a duplicate. The only difference you're likely to find, and I don't have the other one to compare, but the difference is going to be probably the date code of when it was manufactured. And that's going to be about it. I think everything else is probably the same. And I, I can't confirm it because I don't have the other car out. So... Again, it's just me not doing the research, and, and, I, and I apologize about that. I just wanted to make a quick video on these cars, uh, frankly, just because I wanted to open them, put them away, and, you know, who knows. 
maybe not see him ever again. <laughs> the Porsche, I will. Um, all right, so this uh, Toyota Land Cruiser FJ43, I believe we've had this one already as well. Um, in the set, in this color, like everything, I'm pretty sure we have. And again, if I'm wrong, you guys will let me know in the comments. And again, I didn't dig everything out to confirm. Um, so it's a Land Cruiser. This is in the fate of the Furious, according to the back of the card. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And even though I'm not, and I'm not going to say, I haven't watched the movies. I'm not anti the movies, okay? I'm not. I don't, I don't think, I don't like think that, you know, I don't hate the movies. Um, I just have never really seen them and never really necessarily cared to see them. Uh, so this one's got a metal flake red paint job and it looks like it's painted on very lightly because you can see some of the Zamac underneath. Um, you can see some of the texture of the metal underneath it. So it's a very thin coat of red before they did the, the clear coat on it. Um, as far as the graphics go, they look pretty good on this model. Yes, there is some of that low resolution going on, but it's not as noticeable and it looks pretty good. Again, you got metal body, metal base, a uh, real rider off-road tires. It's uh, fairly heavy. It's definitely a roller. This model in general, I think looks pretty good. Uh, it does not look bad at all. And uh, I think it's a nice, a nice looking model. I'm pretty sure I already have it somewhere. Um, I may not though, because I may not have bought this one when it originally came out. I don't buy everything uh, when it comes to the Fast and Furious sets. Uh, but occasionally I will get a full set like this. And yeah, I don't know if I actually have this one or not. I may not. And if I don't, I guess that's kind of a score for me to, you know, get this particular model. So uh, there's that one. This next one, this is the uh, Land Rover Defender 90. And I know I'm almost 100% positive I do have this one um, already. And I, you know, again, I believe it's a repeat. And... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. This is two, right? I Like, I think it is. But that's the other thing. I mean, my collection's to the point now, and I'm sure a lot of yours is, where you just can't remember what you've got and what you don't and what all has come out or not. And I'm not, you know, I don't hold the uh, memory bank space for this stuff sometimes. And, uh, you know, if I really want to know, i got to look it up. So here's this one. The thing that's throwing me on this one is the copyright date being 2023, which means that it was copyrighted in 2023, which very well means that the first time we've seen it was in 2024. But I don't know, again, that that's a fact. It could have been in the beginning of 2023 and we saw it at the end of 2023. But I swear this one's been used recently, just like this one has. But again, I could be wrong. Uh, so this Land Rover Defender, cool looking car. I mean, truck. The SUV, whatever. It looks good, and it's all blacked out. I mean, it looks fantastic. So there's really nothing to complain about here, getting this getting this added to the collection if I didn't already have it, which I think I already do have it. Um, but if I didn't and was able to get this piece, I think I would not be upset about it. It does look pretty nice. This thing looks pretty mean with these real rider off-road off tires and being all blacked out. I think it looks really good. So... Um, fan of that. I mean, I think it looks good. I think it's uh, fantastic. But to the main event here, which is going to be the new new Too Fast and Furious series uh, cars, and I believe this is a brand new tooling. I'm pretty sure this is a brand spank new tooling, so we'll do that one last. This we've seen come out in a couple of uh, instances. This particular tooling has been used a couple of times. Uh, it's recent, though. This does say copyright date 2023 on it, but I don't know. Maybe that's the, they had to change that for the fast. I, I don't know. I don't know how the licensing works. So, but this was the cyberpunk one, right? That they came out with. I think that's where this casting debuted. And it was last year. I think it was last year that it debuted. Again, if I'm wrong, you all will be very nice and let me know. Um, this looks pretty good. So, I dig a Porsche. Porsche seems to be always ever popular uh, among diecast collectors to collect Porsches. And uh, I am one of those people that do that. I like a Porsche. I like a Porsche. Porsche, Porsche, whatever. You say tomato, I say tomato. 
potato, potato, whatever. There's no wrong way, right? Um, I like this. I think it uh, looks great in a metal flake silver. Uh, looks quite fantastic. Decent wheel choice. They look pretty good. Almost correct for a Porsche. And um, I'm going to say there is pretty much zero to complain about this car. It, uh, it's, you know, it's just basic. It's got the, the headlights, the taillights, all the little details. And that's all you need is that. There's no wild graphic on the side. There's nothing like that. We forgot to say what movie it's from. Um, it's from Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. So... should be uh yeah so I, I it looks good it's a good looking car great looking car um fantastic so like this was the star of the show for me was trying to get this i wanted this porsche i knew for sure if i saw this in the store i would definitely get it but there the reality is the only two that i'll probably end up seeing in the store are these two um i don't think i'm gonna see the mercedes and i don't think i'll see this but uh who knows eh, maybe i'll maybe i'll run across this you know, I ran across this the first time it came out, was able to get it. So who knows? Um, but we got that. And here is this guy, big fan of the Porsche. And then we've got the Mercedes Benz 500 SEL. You know, Hot Wheels has just been putting out the Mercedes, Mercedes Benz uh, in force uh, over the last couple of years and constantly come up with new toolings and stuff like that. And it's been really good. Um, I've never been much of a Mercedes fan but i do i do like the older vehicles it's kind of like how i feel about bmw like i don't like any like newer design bmws i don't and i in mercedes i'm not a huge uh fan on either but any of like the older cars that, that have like this rectangular look i i actually really like so and this 500 SEL kind of ticks the box. So I, I think this is cool looking. It's in silver. It's great. It's a copyright date. It's 2023. And I'm pretty sure that this is a brand new casting that this has not been put out um, yet. I don't think. And again, if I'm wrong, someone will let me know in the comments. And so go down and read those. Comment if you know the answer. This one's kind of neat. It's got the window partially down. That's something you do not see. Only on the one side, too. That's something you do not see in Hot Wheels very often, is a partial down window. Again, you got dot matrix graphics, and they look, uh, honestly, up close, they don't look great. And part of the problem is, too, it's on a metal flake paint, and I don't think that helps at all uh, in how they look. The taillights look a lot better than the headlights. Um, we can get real close, right? And when you get real close to any of this stuff, it's not going to look all that great. These aren't meant to be looked at under a microscope, so it is what it is. But uh, pretty cool. They got a little bump up there in lieu of a hood ornament. Probably get stolen off this car anyway. And then, yeah, I mean, overall, it's got the uh, real rider tires. Good wheel choice on it, I think, having the gray, uh, silver-ish. Uh, rims and um, I think in general it's a it's a nice looking car so good job and like I said uh, Hot Wheels has been coming out with lots of uh, Mercedes Benz vehicles uh, in the recent past so it's fitting that they keep putting out new models and uh, it does look they do look pretty good and I I do like them so uh, yeah Good. I, I think overall, okay, like if none of these were repeats, I would say this is a pretty darn solid set. I know some people get upset about the repeats. I I would care about it if I had to get every car in every set, and that's how I collected. So if I collected by saying, you know, I need to get the whole Fast and Furious, every single set, even if there's duplicates, I need to get it. And if I was like that, and like I, I, I had to have complete sets, or complete carded sets, I might be a little irritated with, with the repeats because I'm spending money on cars more than once. But since I don't collect like that when it comes to the Fast and Furious stuff, I don't care. If they come up with a repeat, it just means it's one less that I need to purchase So because it's not how I collect. So I, I, I could see both sides of it, you know, and I like the fact that, you know, they're able to 
if you missed it the first time, you're able to get it the second time. So that's a collector friendly thing. But yet it's also not collector friendly because some people collect for value. And of course, the value is not going to be there if, you know, they're constantly re-releasing cars. It makes them less limited. And then, you know, you have the issue of, okay, well, this is not as collectible because they're not as limited. So it's not as desirable. So yeah, it, with everything, right, there's pros and cons. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your opinions and thoughts. Uh, always fun to read those. I know I don't always respond, but I assure you I do uh, catch up and read those uh, from time to time. And I will uh, read your comment if you do comment. So, all right. I do appreciate it, guys. Thank you for watching uh, another Hot Wheels episode today. And uh, hopefully you guys have a great day. And uh, thanks for watching all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.